What's up guys, Shane from 3 3 d Printing and today I'm gonna check out some Amazon Basics PLA. Welcome back guys. So just this summer, Amazon decided that they were gonna expand their Amazon Basics brand with 3D printing filament. Who would have thunk that I did not? So as soon as I saw it, I had to order it and the stuff was sold out like right away and it was on back order and everything like that. So I went ahead and ordered it anyway. It took about two months to finally ship and get to me, but now I have it. And again, we're taking out today their PLA. I also have PETG to check out, that's a different video. And let's dive right into it. So it's a very simple box, totally unopened yet. It tells me that it is uh, PLA 3D printed filament, 1.75 millimeters, and this is purple, which I don't even remember what color I ordered. Apparently this is purple. Thought I got white and black, that's all I had. Uh, and then it tells us it's in several different languages, like one, two, three, four, five, six, six different languages on there, which is impressive. And that's it. Doesn't really tell us anything else. It's a kilogram and yeah. So let's, uh, there is some other small print. Oh, that's just their address on the bottom. And here it is. There's the spool. There's some awesome things going on. Oh my, oh wait, hold up. Even better, it's a Ziploc bag. That is what I'm talking about right there. That is what makes filament awesome from certain companies because having a Ziploc bag for your filament if you're in a very uh, high humidity area is crucial. Gotta keep your filament dry. No matter what it is, gotta keep it dry. So that's very cool to see. That's also a very hefty box, very thick there. So let's uh, pull into this because it's exciting looking. There was somebody that said that you couldn't have a Ziploc bag for the filament because you have to vacuum seal it. This is the vacuum seal part up here. Uh, it's just much higher. It's about an extra inch and a half over top where the zipper is or the, the Ziploc part of it is. So they just clamp that down, suck all the air out. And this gets you know heat crimped to keep it nice and tight, but then you still have the availability to use the actual Ziploc part later. Got a great big honking uh, desk kit pack in here, which is really good to see. All right, and here is the spool, and look at this. Awesome, and these cutouts are labeled. So from 280 meters down to 70 meters, from 80 gram, 800 grams to 200 grams. So it gives you a very rough estimate. I would not have this hold up any weight whatsoever, but it's a very, very rough estimate on how much filament you have left on here. And, ooh, it's very textured feeling. It almost feels like the uh, the matte filament from like protopasta. It kind of has that kind of feel to it. Almost like a wood filament almost, like a hemp filament. Very easy, but this is straight up PLA. So here we have Amazon Basics PLA. Uh, it tells you that it's PLA. Let's see, where's the English one? Oh, right here at the bottom. Purple 1.75 millimeters. Nozzle temperature 190 to 220. Bed temperatures 40 to 55. And the net weight of one kilogram. Awesome. It is a injection molded spool, so it's one great big piece, no way whatsoever. Actually a relatively decent wind. I mean, I would give it a solid nine out of 10. 10, 10 out of 10 being like Prusa or something like that. Like that stuff is, is pretty on point, but this looks pretty good. So all I want to do is throw this on a couple printers and start printing all the things and see if Amazon Basics filament is actually any good. Let's find out. All right, so the prints are in and the stuff performed great. Now this was the first filament that I really dove into deep on the Prusa i3 Mark III. And all of these were printed on that. So the quality is next level. I mean, it is insane the quality of prints you can get off that printer, even in a kit, like insane, I have to say. The filament performed beautifully and no under extrusions anywhere even though it has kind of like that matte feel to it, that textured feel to it, it doesn't come out terribly shiny, which I really like. I kind of had a worry that it was going to be this super duper matte looking filament, but it, it's, it's a muted, it's a little shiny. Well, satin, satin is a good word for that, I guess. But yeah, this stuff printed great. Uh, several of these models were the test models that came on the Mark III's SD cards. I did print those. Then I printed a couple other ones here to try to mix it up a little bit to see how other things would print. Me slicing things, like these are extremely tuned models. 
I want to see how models that I slice would turn out. So let's take a closer look and see how they did. All right, so first my maker coin, and sadly, it looks a little more blue in the camera. It's super duper like purple purple, and it's a little sad that it's turning out that way. I'll try to color correct this, but we'll see how it ends up going. Anyways, the print, immaculate. Honestly, I've never had a coin come out this well. It just, I mean, look at it. No strings, no under extrusions in there. This was printed on the textured, the, the powder coated uh, build plate of the Prusa i3 Mark III over the supports. I mean, you almost can't even tell that supports were in there. You can't even tell that it printed over air. It looks like it printed like normal. Like it's insane how well that did in there. And around the cogs, super duper nice. Did it super well. This was not using, uh, this was using the uh, Slicer Prusa edition. So I didn't like the supports, but I left it go. They did leave something to be desired, a little bit more of a rough edge around here that you need to kind of take a file to or something or an X-Acto knife. But regardless, it was a great print. Then we have some sample prints here that were on the, the i3 Mark III SD card. So a little Joseph Prusa whistle, which works out really well. This is printed on the textured bed. And then we have a little Batman single signal, a little Batman logo. Uh, this was also printed on the textured bed. You can kind of see it has that little reflection of light in it. it looks like that texture to it. So that's how you know it's the powder coated bed. Uh, then we have a Benchy, a very good looking Benchy. Again, on the textured bed, CT3D right there. But I mean, look at the quality of the print. Just amazing. And finally, we have the little frog guy that was on there as well on the textured bed. You know, really, really good here on the overhang of the belly. And no cleanup, no supports. Uh, this one did have a brim on it, so that was a little annoying. But other than that, really, really nice. All right, now for a model that I slice, this was like the uh, warrior princess, I don't know. It'll be linked down below so you guys can test it out uh, or see Captain's daughter, I don't know. But this was a crazy awesome print. It took quite a while at point uh, one five millimeter layer heights. You can't see layers at all until you get up here to where it's kind of stacking a little bit more here on the cape, top of the cape up here. Come on, focus. So you can see them a little bit in there. Uh, the hair did great. No support on this again. Completely supportless model. This was just a super awesome thing. Pr uh, sliced in the Prusa, uh, sl Slicer Prusa edition and uh, using their stock profile for generic PLA, it just came out great. This vase was not single extrusion. Uh, I kind of forgot to do that. I tried to do it with every print. Uh, as you can see, it's got, uh, it's almost single extrusion, I guess. I think there's actually two perimeters to it, but it's a very cool looking vase, you know, printed on the textured bed, no stringing. I mean, just a perfect model. These like scissor grabber things were fun. I've always wanted to print these. Uh, they came out really, really well. They are a little too loose, I think. I wish they would have a little bit better tolerance, but I think due to the, this is a made for like anybody to print on any printer and the Prusa is just so tuned, uh, it didn't work out. So it, it was a little too loose. So I would like to try this on another printer that doesn't have such as good tolerances and maybe it'll be a little bit tighter. And finally, the best one of them all, this is the uh, Mondo City. I called it a micro city in Twitter, but this thing, is insane this took uh what 14 hours 16 hours to print at a 0.2 millimeter layer height i had one failure there it is um it actually got caught up there so if it, where i want to focus on it so it started to uh, peel up a little bit so it did uh, catch the nozzle and broke that piece off i wasn't able to save it sadly but that's okay but the rest of it i mean look at the details of this print just super duper awesome. Very happy with this. Again, the filament performed great and pair it with a great printer and you are off to the races. And lastly, I did print another one of those Rattler snakes. This one was the longest one and he was twirled up all on the build plate. But again, came out great, printed on the i3 Mark III. I did have to put down glue stick in order to make this work and I had to slow it down because it's just a lot of links. There's probably a good 60 or 70 links in here. So great model, but again, a little bit of glue stick made that stick. Overall, fantastic filament. Again, a little bit of a textured look to it. Um, 
but I used a little more than half the roll, I guess, on this stuff here. It just printed great. At 20 bucks a roll, you honestly can't go wrong. Prime shipping, two day shipping, free shipping. What else can you say? I mean, it, it's amazing that Amazon has decided to make this venture into 3D printing filaments, and who knows, maybe they'll have a printer come out next. I'd love to see that though, but uh, again, who knows? So if you guys wanna check this filament out, go down to the video description. There's gonna be an Amazon affiliate link down there to this filament. There's 20 to 30 colors of this, and they have a wood PLA as well. So, you know, head down there, check it out, try it out yourself, let me know what you guys think. Uh, again, for 20 bucks, can't really go wrong. And that wraps it up. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Talk in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys how you liked the videos and what you thought about this filament. If you guys want to stay in tune with what's going on, make sure you become a subscriber. Hit that bell icon also down below. And that way you get an email notification or push notification to your mobile device when I upload new content or do a live stream. And that way you're one of the first ones to know what is new on the street. If you guys want to help me out financially, best thing to do, become a patron. And if you hit that link down below, donate a dollar or more, you guys become part of the Patreon squad, you get access to my Patreon feed, and you get access to my after show, which I do after most all of my new videos. So be sure you check that out. If you guys want to do it one time, there's links down below. And again, there's a bunch of foot links down there with coupon codes. Make sure you guys save some money down there and a little bit of what you spend with those links ends up coming back here to help me out the channel. So thank you for watching, guys. And until next time, happy printing.